Hi guys, Yao G here and welcome to our little underwater world. Even though the Finding Dory playset isn't out for three weeks, Disney has been nice enough to give us a little treat before it comes out and created a toy box for us. Using all the playset pieces, or pretty much all the playset pieces, the sky domes and the terrain. So I thought it'd be a really nice idea just to take a little look at everything, or as much as it is possible in a little, more, a little bit more finer detail. So I'm trying to record this in 1080p. I hope you guys get the full detail of it, simply because some of these pieces are really, really nicely sculpted and with a lot of design and a lot of effort. As I'm walking around these, you should be able to see there's like quite a lot of texture detail on each and every one of these pieces. Obviously, these are gonna be the normal fantasy terrain plant pieces that are changed. And just take a little look around here. Some beautiful little bubbles popping up from them. Some great detail. I love the little starfish at the bottom here. And the reflections as well as a sort of pan around. You can see that the reflection moves on the starfish. A real nice effect there. They've really taken their time to put in a lot of detail to these pieces. Which I guess is nice because this is going to be the final place ever. As you can see, hopefully, with the detail on the floor, the sand looks pretty impressive. With the reflections coming from the Sky Dome, it really does give a nice feel of being underwater. Now, I'm using Tink, obviously, because we haven't got Nemo or Dory yet. They don't come out until June 17th. But even using Tink, sort of floating around, you get a real good sense of being underwater. They've really, really done a good job. So a few of the other pieces that have become available with the new playset is <laughs> a little shark thing guy, Piranha, over there. One of the other pieces, one of the usable pieces, I'm assuming it's got properties, so we take a little look with the, uh, with the wand. It hasn't, but it has got a button that you can press, which gives a nice little effect, so we'll hit that. Out pops a little fish, sucked in by the lobster. Burps and bubbles come out the top. Quite a nice little piece. And then we've got the amazingly quintessential Scooby Divers mask from the Finding Nemo movie. I'm so stoked they put this in. It's really cool. They've got a fish stuck in it there. One, one little odd thing about it is, I mean, I guess it's kind of odd. I guess it's kind of not. Is that it's sort of a globe. There's, there's an invisible. You can't get in it. Which, you know, kind of would like to, but then I guess you're going to disturb that fish, so. But really nicely designed in itself. And I hadn't noticed until just then, it's actually got some writing on the back. That's really cool. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, New South Wales. <laughs> that is awesome. I hadn't noticed that. So this is Scooby Diver's mask. And over here, popping open and shut, you can see a little treasure chest or an underwater locker. I'm not sure. I have tried. I'm not sure if you can get it. Get in there. Go. Oh, I really don't think you can get in there. But again, a nice looking sculptured piece. Nice little effect. Loving the bubbles as it's pop, popping open there. Really cool. And I think there's one other piece. Yep, here he is. A huge looking clam. Again, with some nice details. I'm not sure. I haven't had a go with this one yet. So I don't know what happens when you press the button. Let's hit it and find out. And... <laughs> That's great. I love that. A little... Why don't we get stuck? Oh, what would happen if you did get stuck? I wonder. Can you get stuck? Let's find out. Just curious. Haven't had a go with it myself yet. I love the light. That's great. Boop, 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 boop. Like you're typing in the code or something. Do I just get kicked out? Oh, I was getting scared. <laughs> I thought I was going to get stuck in there. So I'm guessing this is some of the new enemies. We have a little battle. Ouch. He hits hard, but he was down in one. Oh, he's coming back for more. <laughs> I like the bubbles. That's pretty cool. And then I'm guessing this is another one of the terrain pieces. Looks really nice. 
real nice effects on the coral. I guess this is some sort of rock, or supposedly some sort of rock, which has put sort of moss growing on it, or whatever you want to call it. Maybe it's kelp of some sort. But it looks great. Really like the detail and the seeming time that they've spent putting these pieces together. The rock effect here is great with the shimmering from the sky dome. It just looks immense. I'm really impressed. I can't wait to put a toy box together myself and play with the Dorian and Nemo characters. So you can see the effects on the wall. These are going to be sort of the cliff terrain pieces that change with every terrain set you put. And these are obviously the Finding Dory ones. They look great. Real nice effect. All the starfish all over them. And as you get closer, the details don't don't diminish. It's quite nice. Okay, there's a little bit there, but really nice texture on them. Really nice texture. And if you just have a fly around this toy box, this, incidentally, this toy box is actually set into three parts. Um, I will show you the second part because it uses the the second sky dome that's available. We just have a little float around here and show you the kind of effects that you get in the immersiveness of being underwater and around the back here is where some of the breakables are which is another reason i wanted to come around here I'm not entirely sure yeah that's a breakable wow and it floats around pretty cool and it looks like they give bubbles maybe i'm wrong i'm not certainly not collecting oh maybe i am collecting spots yeah okay but some real nice detail on these. If I can just get a little bit closer. They spent some time again. You know, not just a normal shell. There's some nice texture and stuff on that. So there's some of the breakables. And we'll just fly out. And I'll show you the actual Skydome itself. Because I've got to tell you, I am super, super impressed with how they've done this. I'm going to fly out as far as possible, so let's have a little look. Yeah, we're quite away now. And would you look at that? I mean, that is a real great sense of being underwater. There used to be a game on the Nintendo Wii called... Oh my goodness, it was Ocean something. But it was essentially a scuba diving game where you could dive underwater. Um... And it had great effects and you really felt like you were underwater. This kind of gives me the same sense of feeling. With the kelp floating around there. And the stingrays swimming along. And a school of fish. And as you look down, you, you really feel like you're on the bottom of the ocean there. Some really great detail. Some of these skydomes, they look good but they don't quite work if you know what I mean. But this one really, really works. I'm really impressed with that. And then over the back side, you've got some real nice coral in the distance. Giving a real, another real immersive effect of being underwater. With the floating waves, if you like, on the top. You've got a sense of a bottom and a top. Is that... A, oh, my goodness. I hadn't seen that. That's a turtle floating. Oh, immense. That is so cool. They put turtles in. Where's Nemo's dad? I'm sure he's on the back of one of those turtles. Oh, that is excellent. I haven't seen all of this, guys. You know, it's sort of my second little look at this. There he is again. Oh, I'm so stoked they put that in. So there we go. There's, there's the first Skydome. And I'm personally really impressed with that. So we'll move on to the second Skydome. There's a little sneaky place inside this toy box where you can move on to the second part. I won't show you that, I'll just jump straight in. So here we go into the second area then, guys. And with the second Skydome, it's set at night. I personally haven't had a look at this yet, got to be honest. I haven't been into the second area. My kids were playing with it before. Wow. Just as impressive, if not more so. And with the music in the background as well. I'm assuming that's the Finding Dory music. Same with the first area. Looks like we've got two pieces of music. Which is real nice. And <laughs> there's the turtle. So it looks like... Okay, so yeah. It kind of looks like the exact same Skydome. But they've given it a night effect. 
but not to take anything away from it, they've done a good job. It looks, it looks impressive. You know, okay, only a night effect, but looking good. And as we fly over towards the actual toy box itself, it looks pretty cool. I'm loving the glowing coral and kelp. It seems to be glowing from the moon there, shimmering on. And the effect on the texture on the floor looks great. I've said it a thousand times, but yeah. <laughs> Real nice effect of being under the water. I'm not entirely sure about this little pirate ship thing here, whether that be new or not. Maybe I've just missed it in the toy store myself. Certainly think the other ones over here are the old ones. So we'll take a little fly around just to see if there's a few pieces we might have missed. Oh, wow, that looks nice on the ground there. This sort of tiger stripe effect on that coral. Pretty cool. Oh, and a stingray flying around. Oh, wow. Now that's one of the new vehicles, I think. I wonder if I can land on it. Oh, my goodness. I can actually ride the Stingray. Wow. That is cool. I'm impressed with that. Can't drive it as yet. Can I? It's saying land, exit vehicle. Am I flying this thing? I'm flying it. Am I? I don't know. It seems to be set on a path. It's a little odd. I can move his wings. I can tilt him. I can tilt him a little bit. It's kind of odd. Can I speed up? <laughs> Does he have an attack button? Oh. I'm going to exit that. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. I guess this is part of the actual mission itself. I don't want to get into this, guys. <laughs> Toss the toy into the battleship. We'll come back and do a proper playthrough with this when we finally get the Nemo and Dory characters. I'm going to see if we can take off here. See what happens. As I fly over the pirate ship. So there we go, guys. That pretty much covers most of the new Dory playset pieces, which are looking immense. The two sky domes and the textures for the floor and the cliffs and so forth. I do hope you enjoyed taking a little look at these pieces. I'm really impressed. Nice. <laughs> Just skilled up. If you did, hit the like button and give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it and it really helps us out a lot. Come check out my channel if you've just stumbled across this. We update daily and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. We do hope to see you in the next. And bye for now.